Hi guys and welcome back to Mojo Studio. So in this one we'll be diving in the new vine system within Speed Tree 10. I'll be showing you what you can use it for, how you can create some drooping vines. And we'll be not only using it for the drooping vines, but for, to create some hanging moss, as well as scatter some plants on top of the vines. And then afterwards we'll be exporting this out to Houdini, doing some quick shading there, scattering some moss. And uh, feel free to support us on our Patreon, it will help grow this channel and bring you content weekly so without any further ado guys let's dive in so guys i went ahead and created some two trunks imported a ground acid from mega scans and what we'll be doing is creating these vines and doing some drooping off them and scattering some moss hanging moss assets as well as some ferns on top of them let me just go quickly here to the materials i went ahead and created some materials um, we have a leaf shader from mega scans as well and ground roots is the mess object in the middle as well as we have our hanging moss and we have our fern material as well as the vines material okay so what you'll do is let's select our trunk right click in the scene let's right click in the scene let's go to vines let's add our vines to the trunk and let's increase the amount to two for instance all right so now we have our two vine systems there okay so let's go into the node mode let's select this one and let's just move it down a little bit and let's rotate it till it's somewhere intersecting with the trunk like that okay let's go to the generator tab and let's go to, to droop mode let's put this off this is now the new feature okay let's go into the node mode and let's just rotate this so we're intersecting with that and let's make it a bit shorter and let's select the bottom one as well let's go into the all tab and let's rotate this as well so we somewhere in that vicinity over there let's make this a bit longer rotate this so we're somewhere in there let's just angle this up and let's rotate this again and let's just make it a little bit shorter so once they are in position let's go over to the new droop function let's select that go into the generator mode let's enable that okay so once they're selected let's go over to the materials tab here and just as quickly add our vines material to them so not the same as the trunk so now we have some green vines going on there all right so now let's go over to the vine and right click on it and let's make this a geometry force okay so let's call this vines uh, first level and let's select these vines and create a second set of vines on them and in the droop mode let's unpin the ends and go into the skin tab let's make them a bit thinner and clamp it to the parent all right and let's increase the amount to something like 10 maybe maybe that's too much let's make it five now in the forces tab let's select that and go over to the vine that we've created this one as you can see they disappear okay so in order for us to fix this let's go over to the vine and in the all generator tab there in the common tab the pass let's set this to a value of three so now they reappear okay so now in the forces tab let's increase this amount but they're not clinging to the vine yet because our droop function is on so let's turn this off for now and let's just adjust this value just a little bit more and let's make them a bit shorter something like 10 decrease this amount and now let's turn on the drooping function let's make the stiffness a less and give it some more drooping this is all about just finessing the shape that you want to so decrease this to about value of six go into the generation tab increase this amount just a little bit more and then force tab let's take this down to a value of one okay so now let's add another set of vines on these ones as well so let's go to the vine okay and let's go into the drooping and let's disable the end and go over to the skin tab and let's decrease the skin and let's pin this to the parent and let's increase the amount to something like five b10 okay so now let's go over to the forces tab and let's select the rock cut out here so it interacts with the vines down below so let's go over to the drooping function let's give it some more drooping so once we're done with that let's move this to these little vines over here okay so now let's decrease this amount to five Okay, so now we're starting to get our hanging vines, but let's give the original vines a bit more detail. So let's go over to the generator over there. Let's select our first set there and let's go down into the spine, into the late noise. And let's increase the smoothness and then let's increase this amount. So what we'll do is let's just quickly disable these H on the keyboard. Let's select these ones, disable the drooping function so we can 
correctly amend the plate noise on them something like this and let's decrease the amount because it's a bit too strong at the moment let's go over to the drooping function now let's enable this and let's decrease this amount so we still get some of the plate noise in there you can finesse this till you have something you like and let's increase the late noise a little bit more here okay and let's go down to the drooping function and let's droop this down a little bit more okay so now let's enable those and let's increase the length of these as well and let's go into the forces tab and let's increase the strength amount which i turn the keyboard and bring those back again as you can see we're starting to get our nice vine system hanging with the new drooping um, feature enabled within this vines okay so now let's add our hanging underneath the moss so what we can do is we can use we can use these vine system as well for this so let's copy this Control c Control v let's select the original ones let's add these to that okay so now let's make them a lot shorter let's go into the spine let's make this about five maybe one something like this will do and let's go over to the skin tab in the polygons let's select spline only and now let's select those and let's add a front to them hanging moss let's load that into that as you can see we have our moss cards hanging from the vines now there let's just increase the the spacement height a little bit so there's more detail there the card is very basic it's just one of these cards you can create many as you would like Okay, let's select these and let's just increase the amount so we have a more fuzzy vine going on so let's put this to 50 maybe let's go into the spline let's give it some variation in the length as well let's put it to 0.5 and in these ones let's put it to 80. and let's go over to these vines and let's increase the size a little bit more and now we can add these hanging moss to the next one as well let's add them to those and let's make these ones a bit shorter 2.5 okay so now let's add our leaves so for this we can use our batched leaves so let's select these vines and let's just quickly make them a little bit thinner 0.5 okay so now let's add our batch leaves okay and in the generation tab let's take it to follow taxi and let's just quickly arrange these to the right one go into the orientation and let's influence use a bit of the sky influence okay and now i'm just going to load my material i've created for the leaves just normal leaves i've downloaded from mega scans let's quickly add those into there okay so now let's just amend the orientation and such so let's take up the fold angle let's give them some curl and let's give them some fold and let's take them a bit down like so and now let's give everything a va random value here in the variance setting so there's a bit more randomness going on and in the deformation let's give this some um, height information because there is some height information within the leaves themselves there now what we can do is we can go into the generation tab and let's take this down to value one maybe let's take it 0.5 and what i like to do is i like to go into the knockout parameter and just give some knockout value to them so they're not uniformly everywhere so now let's select this again Control c Control v and now we can paste them on these set of lines if we zoom out let's paste them over there okay Let's select those and increase this value as well. And let's select these, Control C, Control V again, and paste them on the original one. We can select these ones, go into the orientation and the fold angle. Let's bring this back and the up angle as well. So the next step is let's add our fern models to this as well using our vines. So let's select the original vine there and let's create our vine system again once again the same principle let's go over to droop let's disable the end function and for this let's add a force geometry with a direction going upwards to rotate this to the, the upwards and let's select this vine go to the forces tab this direction let's increase this spine let's make this a bit shorter so we get five and the gravity as well let's decrease that and let's go over to the droop function and let's disable this so they're only going upwards now and in the skin tab 
let's set this to spline only let's make sure this is not that high okay so now let's go over to the materials tab to my ferns what i did is i quickly created some ferns within speed tree it's real easy to do you can check out my uh, grass tutorial it's the same principle to create a fern bush model um, that you can export out and use as a model within speed tree or you can scatter this in your uh, host dcc application of choice you can scatter this within houdini using the scatter sop node and just uh, rendering that out in karma but in this case i'm just going to show you how you can scatter this within speech tree itself so once you have done this let's load in a front on this so now we have a front let's just apply this material to that front and our ferns are populating now um, let's select this and let's increase this to a value of two and back again let's give this some random values and in the generation tab let's increase this to 35 okay that's too much but let's go with that let's knock out some of them all right so let's go over to the hanging moss again and let's increase the length of these as well 1.5 and let's increase the value to 130 and let's give this random value as well and let's go over to the spine tab and let's increase this random value we have something like this going on there we go maybe they're too long let's increase them back to one five this is it for the how to create the vines within speed tree after this we'll export this out to dini and then we'll do some quick shading in there just to show you how this thing will look within the um, render itself you can go in and finesse this model a bit more um, you can go and select these vines and increase the amount the length amount to maybe something like 12 and increase the amount of them to like eight and go into the droop function and let's increase the drooping a bit more on them and then the skin tab let's decrease the point value and then the next set of ones let's go to the generation tab and let's decrease this to three so they're not that intense so you can you can get very complex with this as you would like and you can apply the same vines to the trunk as well or you can use the normal vine system with a force system to that as well let's head on over to houdini and i'll quickly show you how you can shade this and populate it with some moss Hi guys, so we're back here in Houdini. So we're in the object context. Um, this is what we'll get when you start importing it. Looking very gray. But in the file mode, what I did is I imported it. I quickly just orientated it with the right degrees and scaled it down to point, uh, 0 0.01. And what I like to do normally is I like to split them out in the versions. So I have a bit more control when shading and applying different modifiers to them and taking them to Solaris. So here I'm just splitting out the trunks, I'm splitting out the moss cards, and I'm splitting out the leaves as well as the ferns that I've scattered. But you can scatter the ferns with, uh, with some scatter functions here with the scatter lob. I'm using a mask that I'm... Let me just quickly display that. It's playing now. This, is, well, this will be my moss that I'm scattering. Oh, the, sorry my lily pads that i'm scattering on them and this is my mask for the moss that i'm scattering i'm just using the normal uh y vector mode here and i've created my own little scatter system here it is using scatter to align under the hood but once i'm done um, assembling this i'll upload this to my patreon so be sure to become a member there and get access to weekly tools that i'm trying to create for houdini okay so this will be my moss that i'm exporting out moss model that i've created in speech as well doing the same principle as the grass tutorial on my youtube page and the lily plant is just a uh, model that i've got from mega scans so let's go over to the stage manager here and let's go over to solaris so what i normally do is i quickly import the separate um, objects with with the sop import the ferns the leaves the hanging moss and the trunk itself and then i quickly create a material right library with all the different materials from the ferns to the trunk system and this is just normal um, material shading required so you have your texture coordinates set to vector 2 and then I'm just using a vector uh, UD USD transform 2D and just uh, increasing the size of the bulk texture. And then just quickly move my face here. And then I'm just using the materials that I've created or what Megascan provides and just aligning the albedo, the roughness and the normal map and just decreasing the specular amount. And that is it for the trunk shader. The hanging moss is still very simple leaf shading techniques. And the same goes to the leaves and the ferns as well. So after I've done that, created the 
basic materials here. I quickly assigned them to the separate systems here. As you can see, locating the ferns, the hanging moss and the leaves and just assigning the primitives and assigning the materials that is required to shade them. After that, I'm just putting a, down a configure layer and just fatting the input layers there and starting a new layer. Then what I did is I imported using a SOP import my moss patch and using a grid to just quickly display them on my tree here in Solaris and then I just quickly created a little HDA that converts them um, to render geo once I'm rendering and then converting it back to a grid when I'm not rendering. It's really simple it's a configure primitive you're saying that's a render and this is a proxy going out um, if you'd like that i'll let that up into my patreon page as well so after that i'm just transforming it and now i'm bringing in my scattered points from uh, the object context so as you can see we have our moss scattering on the tree and the vines and everything and then i'm just quickly shading the moss with the the uh, required atlases required to shade them it's just normal shading techniques Okay, and then I'm assigning them to the mosh and the moss instancer here in the grid. And then I'm just quickly flattening layer, starting a new layer as well. For the lily pads are just the same. I'm importing them as a the high poly version and I'm just using a grid. You can use any object you would like. You can even use a match size and just pipe them through the asset viewer and just transforming them and importing the points from the object context again shading them using basic shading assigning them to the model and then applying a yet another configure layer flattening starting the new and then i'm merging them in flattening each input and then what i did is i export this out as a usd so i can use it in my scenes okay so once i've exported out you have your sub layer here and i'm just quickly transforming this down just going to this look dev scene here and into the camera edit just quickly select that so as you can see we have imported this now let's go over to the karma x gpu and as you can see once you've scattered your moss and everything you can go crazy with this the scatter node that i'm building has a species function built into it um, so you can import different species of moss scattering with different noise patterns and you'll be able to color those each species with different colors using a gradient ramp there and just inputting that with a color geo node into your shader um, let me just quickly dive in there as you can see i have a species here i've got a probability you have different variants of them a uh, number of species and as well as the species color that i'm building into this once this is completed i'll upload this to my patreon page so be sure to check that out once once it's out i hope you guys found this useful if you have any questions about the new vine system within speed tree 10 please let me know and i'll sort out the question you have so i hope you guys learned something stay safe take care and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye